So today, I'm going to give you a lot of information. Julie gave you quite a bit um, on the export um, regulations for the Department of Commerce, and I'll fly through that portion of it. And I don't mean to overwhelm you. I just want to show you how much is out there for export and import, and the reasons why you need a some kind of a compliance program making you know lemonade out of lemons. You know, you, it may look hard, may look like there's a lot out there, but you can boil it down to a compliance manual and processes and procedures, and you you know it pretty much can keep you on the right track. You'll see what I'm going to go through. I'm going to give you an overview of the government agencies. I'll stop in a few places that I think. Um, might be interesting to touch on in the Department of Commerce side. An embargo is the complete ban or prohibition of trade. And sanctioned countries are trade prohibitions on certain types of products or countries or individuals. So that's the difference between an embargo. You're usually going to be denied, period. Iran, Syria, those are examples of complete denials. You're never going to get a license for there. Unless there's some um, kind of real need, then you have to go and get a presidential approval. You can't go through the State Department. You have to go straight to the president. <coughs> I combined the list of embargoed and sanctioned countries so you can see where they are. They have varying policies. There's an asterisk. You know, you can get medical supplies into North Korea. You can send stuff to Lebanon, to a company in Lebanon. But if they're, if they're not on the list that denied party screening, you can't send to them. You guys, how many of you traveled and bring your, your smartphones or your laptops? inside and outside the United States to Canada. Sometimes you get emails on there and it's maybe discussing an issue, a technology. That is an export. And there's examples of things. Again, the laptop computers, the Blackberries, the PDAs, any models or mock-ups. If they're made of the same kind of materials or something like that, they would be controlled. Um, de Defense-related software, they're taking your laptop so you can go demonstrate some kind of great auto routing system for a UAV. You know, they, when they come in and do an investigation, they'll ask you, have you had export training? You know, inevitably something happens like that. The guy brings back a tool that was controlled that he didn't, you know, or he went over there to actually fix a, equipment over in, an, in a country and came back with a part that was broken. So things happen, and, the, and I've never, in any of the, one of the voluntary disclosures I've ever made, had any kind of a penalty They'll give you the letter saying, yes, we note that you did this, and et cetera, et cetera. We'll just keep this on file. Sure. Department of State controls the sale, export, and retransfer of defense articles. That's what you call, she, you call them items under the Department of Commerce. We call them defense articles. So whether it's physical, hardware, if it's software and technology, they're put together. Um, and then any um, thing that you do, physically training or any kind of service you perform. They are all referred to as defense articles. 